Yo, what up, guys? It's Dab First right here again. It can be sniper and really let's go to the market. You already know the vibe, right? So, in this video, I'll be showing you guys quick one on how to use candlestick confirmation to trade, right? Now, I've seen a series of charts, I've seen a series of people, different analyses. Right, whereby they try to use candlestick to predict the market, whereby it's gonna sell or it's going to buy. Right, I know most of all the traders out there, you have the ability to actually figure out okay, this is the type of candle that's formed, whether shooting star, ama, bullish, and coffee, whatever it is. I know you guys can figure it out on the chat, but like in series of the cases, I found out that these traders they misuse this candlestick and it doesn't work appropriate for them. Right, what do you think is wrong? Yeah, in my own sense, the way I apply my candlestick confirmation to pick a trade is way different, right? Now, I'm going to be analyzing the like just one single thing that is different from uh, using candlestick confirmation to pick a trade in the market, whether I sell or buy, right? Now, one thing you need to know is this any candle kind of that form on the chart, not everything you're going to count, right? Not everything is going to react at a, at, at a taste, right? Now, you might have candlestick, like, you might have armor. You might see a bullish move of a, of a, of a trend. But you can just have an, probably a shooting star form anywhere. Doesn't mean that exactly it's going to push that market to start selling, right? The difference now is you need to look for appropriate major zones whereby you can find this candlestick and they will react appropriately to the zones you're looking out for for example right if you find a shooting star on a resistance level right on a good resistance level that is giving you a confirmation for yourself and if you find like a bullish and on the support level that's giving you a confirmation for buy now but most cases different traders just have to like uh Different traders just see most of these candles from anywhere and they just try to pick a buy. Okay, no, you doubt okay, this is a bullish and Goffin is going to buy. No, it doesn't work like that. I'm going to show you a clear example of ESD card I traded yesterday, uh, this previous week that I just passed, and I made $10,000 on the, on the USD card. I'm going to share the trade analysis with you guys so you guys will see how the trade happened overnight and how I use candlestick confirmation to confirm the sell of this market. Right, so let's jump straight to the chart and I'm going to show you guys right now. First of all, you all can see this withdrawal done last week. Uh, it was a profitable week, actually. I was capping, made ten thousand dollars withdrawal, as you can see. And you are asking which broker do I use? Infinite Nigeria, always right now. I've seen different brokers. I make sure you guys are on this channel, this is our channel, right. Join the link is in this uh, YouTube video bio to join this channel. I've used to post free signal on this channel, right? So here's at which broker do I use? I use Infinox, right? And of course, I've seen different brokers whereby when it comes to terms of news, they manipulate a lot, right? But no, I don't do that. Influence doesn't do that. No manipulation. That's why I love Influence most of the time. It's very good to trade for that better. And their spread is very low. Quick withdrawal. Everything is perfect. So let's jump straight to USD card. This is one hour time frame. Yeah. Now, what do I do? I use multi time frame analysis to analyze the market from the higher time frame down to the lower time frame. Right. So looking at this pair, this was where. I actually got the confluence from now basically I know this pair from the higher time frame this pair has been a great uptrend has been a great uptrend right the major support that major resistance that we had was here and finally the market broke out of this resistance and of course I don't want to go against the trend of this market so all I was looking out for initially was opportunity for a buy 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 right so Last Friday, Thursday, right now, this market pushed all the way, and this was a recent IRI that we have at that time. Recent IRI that we have at that time, right? Now, look at what happened there. There was a breakout of this IRI, simplifying what 
that okay this trade is about to push to the higher side like create a new higher high right but what happened in the four hour time frame now using candlestick confirmation i want you guys to know that this if you see a rejection candles or a reversal candles on the higher time frame it is more likely it's gonna like really perform well than the lower time frame it will show you more strong, strong confidence than the lower time frame very clear enough this was our major iii but if you come to the forward time frame what do we have we have a rejection candle you can call this a shooting star right over there and what next happened on the forward time frame the bearish candle occurred right so how do i ever get myself before i got there let's go back to the one hour time frame but if you go back to the one hour time frame it didn't really like did this straight sell like that on the one hour time frame but of course it still sold after the rejection candle right so right after the rejection candle on the four hour time frame you could have found a sell entry on your lower time frame right in between because what the price rejected the bank so all i'm trying to say is your candlestick reversals work most when they are on their major zones right that's just the major point they work most when on their major zones not just anywhere i can't just say this chart like okay this way this is going up right now look at this candle there was a bullish and right here on this major on this support that we have here and this tells what after this bullish and girlfriend the candle start going up right so now i'm trying to look for an example of okay just look at here when we have no support right look at here when we have no no support or resistance there and uh we can't count the kind of candle okay just look at this point look at this doji right here right there was no support or resistance there so that means what you need to ignore, ignore this candle those are not functioning at that point so find candles on their support or resistance level you can call it demand or supply zone right they work most in that cases right so how do i got myself we have two examples already bullish and golfing here shooting star on this resistance bullish and golfing on the support level then part right now how did i go myself i couldn't get the same immediately after this shoot, uh, the shooting star front so all i did was i applied this by strategy ibo initial breakout entry right so previously the market has been consolidating lately right let me do cool let me do the do a quick replay over there uh the market has been consolidating the market has been consolidating on this zone that we have here right so all i was waiting to confirm the breakout was after the market came to touch this first level right the market went back up and gave me a resistance first then when the market gave me a resistance here yeah, i already noticed okay this was a level for me to watch out so in between in between i enter myself around here i dropped the signal on the vip group who i think we hesitated on the vip group earlier but like if you see my trades uh if you see my trades where i posted on the telegram the self for the sell. let me share with you guys okay yeah here we go let me show you guys this was the sell. the sell i entered right boom gave me the money i needed right so it's all about confirmation looking at what you you're, you're looking out for in the market right so very simple that is how candlestick work but before you can use them of course you know that you need to study different kind of candlestick that we have right you need to master them especially the reversal candlestick like bullish reversal candlestick and bearish reversal candlestick then you also need to know the indecisions ones like the likes of doji indecision means like you don't know whether the market will sell or buy right so that is a very simple on how to use candlestick to confirm wherever it is you want to confirm the price reaction is right a quick video um make sure you subscribe to this youtube channel share to your friends let them come on learn free from here and make sure you join our free trading signal the link is bio the free trading signal on telegram trade with us let's make money together you know i drop free trade signals sometimes whenever i trade and um, free educative content news updates more and more right for you guys
So join the community and make sure you subscribe to this.